Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I've not vlogged in a while. Had a bit of a mare these last few weeks. Um, my car broke down, had a coolant leak, so it's currently in Citroen in Wakefield and they've had it for, oh God knows, probably about two weeks now. It's still not ready. Anyway, so I'm now in a Kia Nero, which is a colleague's car. So to get this, last I think it was last week or the week before, I had to drive all the way to Harrogate not drive sorry because I'm not in a car am I I had to get the train and a bus all the way to Harrogate to meet him to pick it up so I could go to work and he's hired a car he doesn't do as many miles as me so he's not uh, not as vital that he has he has a car um, like this one so anyway everything's fine they've still got my car at Citroen and then what happened was I was in Pocklington last week um, well I've been to Bridlington and I was all somewhere on the Yorkshire Wolds late at night well I say late tea time but it was pitch black it was pouring down god it was a godforsaken day and the uh i got a puncher so anyway this is in this car which is is his car that i'm borrowing so i had to limp home well limp to pocklington um aa came out put a plug in it use the tire weld stuff because you don't have a spare nowadays do you use the tire weld got it up which got me home and i've been just doing little runarounds since Citroen, meanwhile, were meant to be getting me a hire car last week. That went to port, that never happened, they never rang me back. So, problem I've got now is, I'm in this car and it's got a puncture, so I need to get it back to my colleague Joe in Panel, that's where he lives, but it also needs its tyre fixing. So, I thought I'd take you along. So, I'm driving to Panel ATS now to get the tyre fixed. He's going to pick this car up later. I'm getting a train back into Leeds. I'm then going to walk from Leeds along to Hunslet, weather permitting, to Enterprise Car Hire, and I'm going to get myself a, a vehicle from them guys. Um, so I don't know what it is, it's meant to be a like for like uh, car that they give you, so my car's a C5 Aircross, so I don't think it'll be a C5 Aircross, but it should be of a similar size. Um, so we'll see when I get the car, um, I'll take you along, I'll film you. Look, once again, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking means the world to me you know it does help the channel more people like the videos more people comment on the videos um but this has been a mare this with with the car it's been three weeks now of just crap um i don't think my company understands that it isn't my fault i, I did feel i was getting a bit you know get this sorted when i can't I'm trying to speak to citroen customer services like speaking to a brick wall Anyway, look, been rambling too long, so let's get off. Let's go to panel. I'll take you along. Um, I'll speak to you when I get to panel ATS and get this car dropped off. Just one thing I will add is you're not meant to go over 50 miles an hour on this uh, tire repair and you're not I really could do without obviously going on the motorway so I'm gonna have to go a bit of a, a bit of a long route but I've just looked at sat nav it's 18.1 miles it's about three quarters of an hour so let's get off right I'm here panel made it with the dodgy tire which I'm chuffed to bits about um that is one big stress off my mind is that um yeah great I, I did go up a bit of the a1m1 link road came off at Thorpe Park and then I went up that new Eastern Relief Road if you know it sort of east of Leeds goes between sorts cross gates Windmore Barrick and Elmick um, brings you out on Weatherby Road takes you down past Roundy Park then A61 into Harrogate so stress free decent happy um, let's go get this car left here one thing I need to do actually is check we've got the locking wheel nut because I had an incident with mine not so long ago that was awful i couldn't find it and it was like major stress then in the end we found it so come on let's go have a look for the locking wheel nut right let's have a look ah bingo so yeah at least we found them let's go get it checked in
Right, that's car all uh, chopped off at ATS. So yeah, just walking down to the station now. So about half an hour early, but I'd rather be early than late. Um, very nice round here, very posh. A bit posher than where I live, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, it's only uh, about five minutes from the ATS to the train station. So and then it's about probably 20 minutes, I think, into Leeds from here. So should be there fairly soon, I hope. Well, actually, that was really near. It's just there, look. Panel. Let's go over this road. There we have it. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the station. Got a co-op over there. Might nip round there first. Actually, get a drink. Right, that's my train. So, due in about 20 minutes time. It's quite a nice little station. This there is um see there there is a ticket machine as well. With hindsight, I should have just done that, but it is cheaper if you pre-book on train line, I think. So, yeah, turn you around. So, let's wait for this train. Bit of time to kill, but I'd rather be early than late, as I said. So, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully speak to you on there. Now, the, I just missed the train before it, and if you had a look, it was absolutely ram-packed. So... I don't know whether I'll get sat down. I don't know whether I'll be able to do a vlog on this. Any vlogging on this train. But we'll see. We'll uh, play it by ear when we get on. Honestly, that woman there, just dragging that case up and down the platform. You know, and the noise just goes straight through you. It's like, turn it in, love. Anyway, I think train's on its way in the next uh, five minutes. So just in Leeds now, that wasn't a bad train journey, about half an hour, 25 minutes. So I'm going to walk now to Hunslet, it's quite a nice day, 
so I could get the bus but the bus station's at the other side of Leeds so by the time I've walked there I might as well walk back so yeah I'll show you some other way I'm going along the canal to start with so let's have a look oh there some of those uh, bikes again the Tracy Brabin bikes so what are they call barrel bikes aren't they so I've done a vlog on those I'll link it down below you can see where I hired one for a morning so yeah, just going to carry on walking now down to the river. I'm on a place called Victoria Wharf. So this here is the, it's a new bridge. It's David Alawali Bridge. So if you've not heard the story of David Alawali, then go seek it out. Because it's uh, quite sad really what happened to him. But wow, look at the river. Bit high today, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. So yeah, apparently this bridge lights up at night. I don't know how, I can't see any lights anywhere, but they might be hidden somewhere. But yeah, quite a good little link. Um, if you look over here, that's Leeds Bridge in the distance. So just there, that was where sort of the origins of Leeds started. When they put a, they forded this river. This is the River Air, if you don't know. So yeah, lots of work going on in Leeds. It's uh, it's crazy. I'm going to show you another little memorial to him now. Um, you might just be able to see it over there. Hibiscus Rising or something it's called. So we'll go have a look and I'll show you that. But yeah, he, he lost his life just the other side of Leeds Bridge down there when he was chased by two policemen. So it's worth, worth having a look. There's, there's a book out as well, really good book um, about his life and how he died. So another old uh, bit there, look, all this is new, it's all been re-landscaped, repurposed. Um, I used to walk down there, this is the back of Asda House. So this is actually Water Lane, people don't know that, look at that there, the old millstone or something. So this is actually Water Lane in Leeds, people think it's the other side of Bridgewater Place, that big building there, um, but it, it, it did originally run all the way along here into Leeds. So it can get a bit confusing when you um, when you when you look at old maps and you think you're over there and you're not. It's down here. So yeah, there's the bridge. Look, and there's there's the river in full flood. I've seen it higher, but it does come over down there at some point. So yeah, lots going on in Leeds. It seems to be a building site at the minute. Um, constantly getting built, developed, moved really moving on with the times so let's get over here and get towards the armories and we can pick up the uh, canal to the car hire place in Hunsley there you go look so here's some little bit of info about hibiscus rising I can't get close up because there's some workmen on it but here you can see there what it's all about so yeah this is called Leeds Park or something, so this has been all landscape done up. There used to be a garage here, just to fill my car up. That church there, Salem, get ready for some more mind-blowing information. That is where Leeds United were formed, in that church there, after Leeds City got disbanded for making brown envelope payments. But yeah, Salem there, it's now home to AQL. But yeah, that's where it all it all started so blame that for my misery so you'll see behind me another view of Salem Church there that's where it all began so yeah it's uh, again round here it's just changing like mad it's um I used to work here that was Tetley's or still is got the building there look but now it's not it's um yeah, it was a bar and event space, but even that's closed down. I don't know what they're doing with it. But look, I've just seen a plaque about Salem, so let's have a look. There you go. Leeds United was founded here in 1919. So those, that door there behind me through these arches that was where I walked as a as a young man it's about 
22 to start work there amazing my office used to be just where I'm walking now now all gone it was a car park and now it's totally gone I think that's where they're going to put some of this landscaping for this park just through there I'll show you what they're doing there you go look bit of work going on other side of there look at that old door there offices that is where or just along here is where Tetley's used to keep their shire horses that used to deliver the beer around Leeds and surrounding areas so that bit in there when I worked here was a, a place for the horses they weren't there long after I started they, they got rid of them put them out to pasture I think somewhere in Huddersfield right let's crack on I need to go pick this car up oh yeah there we are Leeds dock so yeah looking good you can see down there that yellow building that's actually a yellow and black thing that's a, a bar called the Canary so yeah it's good down here let's carry on walking see there how deep that is it's a uh, overflowing we've got more rain I think to come tonight than a bit of a I think a day off tomorrow and then another load more rain so yeah, it could be a we've got the flood defences further up though it's amazing it kind of goes up and down lets more water through so it, it stops it backing up up there like it used to do back towards Leeds so right I'm on this canal I don't think I'll film anything else along here because there's not that much to see maybe Hunslet Mills further along and then I'll see you down at the garage car hire place if you're into graffiti this is the place to come look at this old Marge there Tweety Pie yeah, some great stuff so that there is Hunslet Mill so it's just been done up it's accommodation now like everything else gets turned into but I've done a grand job with that it's uh, not much about it, but I'll put a, I think I can probably find a couple of pictures just to put over, over the top now so you can see what it used to look like. But yeah, cracking, cracking building. All this has been going on kind of since Covid. I used to walk along here with the dog. You can see there, through there, look, some old buildings. Apparently it used to employ thousands. Um, there used to be a couple of pubs, there used to be a pub just up there called the Goodman and it used to be rammed full of people at kicking out time from that mill in the good old days not like it now is it with all these call centres and work from home but yeah that's Unslip Mills there you go there's another another shot of it from this side so yeah car parking underneath and then accommodation so quite quite spectacular all these are new houses as well these are really nice some like little houses down here they've done this area up really well yeah they're like little townhouses i guess aren't they garage underneath look parking really good more up here so yeah mention the goodman pub there it is nowadays so it's now goodman house so that was a very very busy pub back in the day Right, you might just be able to see behind that bus there, Enterprise Car Hire. So that's where I'm going. So a nice walk out of Leeds, about 20-25 minutes that was. So let's go have a look and see what car they've got me. Right, you're not going to believe this. This is my hire car. <laughs> they haven't got any cars. So I've got a van. Brilliant. Superb. There you go. So absolutely brilliant. I'm in a van. <laughs> you can't make this up. The stress I'm having with this car. It's absolutely mad. Anyway, look, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll, um, I'll see you soon on the next one. Let's hope I survive in this van. <laughs> Cheers.